All right, a hey, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who well, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. The brother Yeshaya, part of Minnevala, South Carolina. This lesson right here is going to be based upon a video, a live uh, video, live lesson that the uh, GMS camp uh, did last night. Salakia. Uh, and, you know, this is a beautiful lesson. And um, this part right here really stuck out to me, um, the latter part, because the elder Tazan, he's about to, uh, you know, uh, say what he says now. And then that's going to start going into, you know, a little bit of the health aspect of this thing, because, hey, you know, we got to take care of ourselves on this side, man. All right. Of course, we, uh, you know, we're eating our bread to follow amongst the Gentiles. Um, you know, we have to, you know, depend on their water system for the most part, uh, their foods. OK, because, you know, it's illegal to even grow your own food. All right. Um, you know, everything, man. OK. But at the same time, uh, the chemtrails, I mean, we can go on and on. But nonetheless, we have to take care of ourselves. All right. And do what we can to the best of our ability to take care of ourselves. All right. We have the avenues that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has given to us. All right. The uh, herbs, the, the uh, uh, you know, supplements and everything along the lines of that. So we don't really have an excuse. All right. We just have to put forth the effort. And, you know, when you do uh, take care of your health and take care of yourself, you build confidence. All right. You, uh, you know, and, and you're more readily available to do the work and the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And he can use you because your vessel will be a cleaner vessel. When you exercise, you eat right, you eat to the best of your ability, all right? And, you know, your stomach basically is your second mind. So whatever you put in your stomach, you know, especially like the first thing in the morning, you know, it, it, uh, it, it it's spiritual, okay? And it's going to dictate your emotions, it's going to dictate your overall well-being. So, you know, it's always good to have dif discipline, temperance, all right, especially with foods, all right, and, and, and the uh, yayan as well. But not to uh, delay the video, we're about to go right into it. We all, we all going to be perfected, Lord willing, if we be of the elect, of course. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to be perfected in that nature. That breath of life will finally be fully circulating within the remnant. You know, and we'll be presented as that perfect, chaste virgin so that we can be joined with Yahweh Shah and inherit incorruption for eternity. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and see what that feel like. <laughs> I'm tired of, you know, I mean... You know, you got to fight, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I can say I'm tired, too, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, you know. So yeah. wear the saints of the most high. Yeah, yeah, wear the saints, that's it. I mean, the, the wear and tear, bro, the wear and tear on this mortal flesh. That's why, I love, you know, just to put a quick disclaimer out there, man. Brothers, you brothers, take care of yourself, man. Yeah. Prioritize your health, man. Put your health first. Yeah. You know, or you know, not first, but put it yeah. put it up high. Man. Put it up, yeah. You know, yeah. take care of yourself, man. You know these vehicles, man. They'll they'll break down, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you when you in a better uh, physical state, you can operate in a better physical yeah. state, man. So you brother start getting more in, in, into that health spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, taking your daily herbs. You know, making sure you get your exercising in. You know, you make sure you ain't eating that bullshit all day. Kind you know, sometimes you need to cut back too, man. Yeah, you know, cut back from too many fried foods and too many. You know, because that's all that left hand vib vibration shit, too, man. Yeah. You got to go look into the uh, Mediterranean diet. That's how we used to eat. Mm -hmm. they, put a they put a better vibration on us. We weren't walking around slamming down JJ's fish and chicken all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the big ass thick piece of Texas toast. <laughs> Hey, see, yeah, man. So we really, uh, once you, just like I said, to uh, open up the video, we really have to start, you know, taking care of ourselves as far as our diets and physically exercise. OK, because, you know, sometimes we'll get complacent in this life and we'll be like, OK, or I'm complacent. And, you know, when we're in the truth, but like, OK, I got the truth. I got this knowledge. OK, we about to get new bodies anyway. So uh, forget it. I'm going to eat what I want. I'm going to do what I want. Um, and right now, you know, <laughs> that's not the case, man. All right. Hey, the Lord and just be, and for the simple fact that we know what we need to do. Through the spirit of probably how about Shimmy outside as far as diet and as far as you know overall health and well-being, physical exercises included. He's gonna hold us to that regard. Okay, you know, <laughs> he's gonna hold us to that regard, man. And if you don't uh take heed to it, man, you're gonna not be the 
full potential of a man of the Lord that, you know, you need to be. And, you know, health and diet is a part of that. So um, just to get a quick scripture, this is the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 30 and verse 25. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. So there you go. <laughs> Just to add to you, like, um, like we always say, we always hear that uh, when we bring out bodily exercise, profit a little, but it profits little. Yeah. It would profit some. It, it's some it's like, still beneficial. Um, so yeah. what Bishop's saying, too, like, uh, you know, doing that actually brings confidence. Yeah. Um, huh. Which mm -hmm. is means with faith. Right. Yeah. And, we were just mentioning we're in the ninth month, which um, I think that's um, the mark that we're in is like, I, they might butcher it, but I think it's like Cheslu or something like that. Cheslu, yeah. Cheslu, mm -hmm. it's, in, it's in Nehemiah 1 yeah. and 1, mm -hmm. and, that, and that month means his confidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when, okay. you, mm -hmm. when you're doing your workout and stuff, it should build your confidence. It does. Yeah. When you're working yeah. out your spirit, so, it should yeah. build your confidence. Yeah. You see, that's, that's heavy that's, that's, mm -hmm. that, that you're saying that because that spirit of Halloween is, mm -hmm. is here. <laughs> then you got the month that the, the new moon is coming in to combat that spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a vibration that the Lord is using to push that now. push that energy down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so the yes. Lord is the Lord is increasing us. That's why we constantly exhort brothers. You know, even when we dealing with the spirit of Yahweh Bashimah Shai, also fuel fuel your body so it can receive more of the spirit. Yeah, remember, right. remember what the scripture said in the book of uh, Daniel, the first chapter, when they wanted to refrain from the king's meat. Yep, yep. You know, it said they they grew fatter. Their faces grew fatter and they they was glowing mm -hmm. and they they had more wisdom than everybody. Mm -hmm. They had went ten days off of water in the post, the vegetation. Mm -hmm. And guess what happened? They grew in the spirit. You know, the Lord told Ezra to go eat of the flowers of the garden. He grew in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you gotta just suppress more suppress fun. all that that carnality of eating all that chicken. Yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know it's, it's, it's eating chicken, chicken, fried this, fried that. Yep. You know, man, some some days, man, drink you some water, get you a smoothie. Yeah. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. get you, you know, make you a nice little salad bowl, burrito bowl. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know stuff like that. It, you know, so <clears throat> so you can actually, you know, vibrate on that on that spiritual, you know, notation. That's right. Last night, uh, when I was listening to uh, the other uh, GMS Atlanta. Uh, and the brothers, um, man, this uh, he uh, this this is the I thought it is too uh, the the, the uh, account of Daniel. So let's read that. It's the book of Daniel, chapter one and ten. Um, and the prince and the eunuch said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king, uh, who hath appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? Then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king? Then Daniel. To Mazar, whom the prince of the eunuchs has set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah, prove thy servants. I beseech thee ten days, and let and let them give us posts to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenances be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat, as thou seest, deal with thy servants. So he consented to them in this matter, and proved them ten days. And at the end of ten days, their countenances appeared fatter. Fairer and fatter in flesh, and all the children which did eat the portion, um, than all of the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. So there you go. All right, and that post is like vegetation. So you know it's good to you know go go a day without eating meat if you can. You know, make green smoothies, which I call them the ultimate cheat code. You know, green smoothies. Uh, 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 um, uh you know, water. You know, um, yogurt. Which is a pro, uh, got probiotics, or it's a prebiotic, or got a yeah, probiotics and a prebiotic or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Berries, fruits. All right. Um, I know we're out of season, but I, uh, watermelon. <laughs> I just took some watermelon out of the uh, deep freezer that I'm about to uh, you know chow on <laughs> later. So you know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is, man. You know we gotta uh, take better care of ourselves. You know, especially what we put in our body. After, you know, we uh, uh, break our fast, which is, you know, um, in in the morning and also, you know, when we do, you know, our fast, but really uh, break fast, which is, uh, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you know, first thing you put in your body. Sometimes it's, it's good to fast as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Fast, that's a part of that's a yeah. part of our heritage. You know, mm -hmm. you know sir, hey, what the Lord says, certain demons, you can't even 
you can't much exercise without fasting and prayer. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you got to dig deeper in that, yeah. Yeah. that yeah. fasting. Comes in yeah. clutch, yeah. Even, yeah. even if it's just a day, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. intermittent yeah. fasting, mm -hmm. yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you break your fast too. That's yeah. an, that's important, yeah. you know, because mm -hmm. everything is, is, is spiritual, yep. You know, mm -hmm. first thing in the morning, what you put in your spirit mm -hmm. that dictates you, that determines your day because your, mm -hmm. your body absorbs whatever from mm -hmm. the empty stomach the quickest, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know. So, if you put in certain stuff that automatically, and some, some herbs they say to take first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do that. take on an empty yeah, stomach. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, anybody else got something? We're going to close on your scripture. Uh, this is uh, Psalms 85 and 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Verse 12. Yeah, the Lord shall give oh, them. Oh, one real quick, because how, how does how does uh, something spring out of the earth? Well, first, the earth has to be, it has to be plowed. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Right, it has to be worked, mm -hmm. and then the seed has to be sown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it has to then it has to be watered, mm -hmm. and then taken care of. It has to be cultivated, mm -hmm. and then it starts mm -hmm. to spring up. Yeah. Germinate, germinate, get it too careful. Grow the yeah. roots, break the Just like the, uh, the seed of a uh, uh, mustard tree. Yeah, mustard seed, you know, yeah. and it and it grows, you know, bigger. Same, you know how the Lord compared it to the kingdom, but it's the same way with with you know with this truth, which mm -hmm. is the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, you know? and even with certain um, certain plants, depending on what you plant. Some stuff take a, a lot of time before it actually yeah. can can grow. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I was thinking about one one thing. It was something I was gonna try to plant, but uh, I know a chick that has some type of garden. She was like, "Yeah, this shit gonna take about seven years really for it to grow." But when it grows, mm -hmm. the benefits of it. I was just like, "I ain't got no seven years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't on that type of time." But through the spirit, it's some stuff that even in, in the truth, you know, when you really start to get your Get your, your footing, mm -hmm. usually if you six, time. seven, yeah. that's when you eight, start to, yeah. you know, start yeah. to grow on us. The truth started growing. Yep. Well, yeah. after when the apostles started coming on the scene, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying, yeah. the YouTube, yeah. and then from there, it just started, it, now yeah. it just, this is like all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. But you see how it took some time for it to Take actually time. sprout up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, now it's, now it's bearing fruit. Yeah. Yeah. And then the fruit is multiplying. If I can spring out one more, I'll be swift. Also, you know, it said, you know, water should spring out. Water springs out with pressure too. Mm -hmm. So just like you're saying, like the, the, the truth has been a buildup as well. Mm -hmm. Just like we're saying here today, we're tired, we're irritated with what you saw. It's gonna Present. be a buildup. It's gonna yeah. be a real yeah. buildup. Yeah. And it, it, it's like a geyser now. Yeah, yeah. 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 How, how the pressure makes it bust mm -hmm. and the water yeah. just springs just, up. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's that spiritual power that's gonna spring mm -hmm. out. So, yeah. yeah, hey, the Lord yeah. know what He's doing. Yeah, He's hey, allowing it. Flourish. Yeah, face shall flourish. Yeah. He's allowed, he, he didn't allow all this to, 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 to grow. Mm -hmm. This thing is almost ready to burst, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it. You know, even it's in your day, I'm pretty crazy. sure when you brothers was out and about, there was this this uh, mysterious look that, that brothers always get when you're in public. Oh, yeah. Like people is looking like they got something I want, but they can't put their finger on it. Yeah. You know, because that truth is ready. To, that truth is everybody waiting on it. Mm -hmm. The elect, right. they waiting on it. Yep, yep. So uh, I got a few more scriptures. Uh, I hate my dad movie. All right. Let's, uh, let's go to the book of... Let's go back to Sirach 30 really fast. All right. And I'm going to read uh, verse 15. Health and good state of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth. There is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. So there you go. If you got a sound body, your mind, they, they, what, they call it the mind, body, spirit connection, you know, and it's, it's, it's truth to that because, you know, once, you know, if your body is in a certain state, your mind is going to be in a certain state. And if your mind is in a certain state, your spirit is going to be in a certain state, but we know that the spirit is the mind. Okay. So, you know, uh, so it's basically your body and your spirit, okay? So it's a, it's, it's very uh, you know important to take care of our bodies, man. All right, not the uh, Doritos, <laughs> inside joke. All right, um, you know Takis and you know, and also we got uh, watch what our children eat because our children, you know, they they love snacks, they love you know uh, uh, chicken nuggets and fries. 
All right. But that's not really conducive to a, uh, you know, a, a healthy, you know, growing body. All right. So, you know, yeah. Uh, verse 16, there is no riches above a sound body, no joy above the sound of the, uh, the joy of the heart. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. And I really, truly believe that, man, because, <laughs> hey, uh, when I get sick, man, I, I you know, and I, and I thank the Lord, I don't really get sick too often. But when I do, it's real bad. And I turn into, man, it's just like, it, it, it's horrible, you know? It's really, really, really horrible, you know? And, hey, these, these scriptures are, are true to life, man. Verse 17, death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. And that is a moth, man. All right? Uh, I had a couple more. Um, I didn't want to make this too long. Uh, and uh, Let's see. Did I bring it out? Nah. Let me, uh. Let me get Sirach 38, and I'm going to read a, a little bit of this. One of my favorite chapters. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which he have, ye may have of him, for the Lord have created him. So we do have physicians, man, you know, and I mean, we ain't talking about doctor so-and-so, which doctor, the word doctor means to falsify. We don't, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the physicians or the brothers, uh, you know, that we have. And also you, we, uh, the, the herbologists. Okay, the Dr. Sebi's and the um, Dr. Uh, I forgot his name. Um, he pushes, you know, uh, uh, eating greens. I think he's a vegan. Uh, I forgot his name. I think I'm subscribed to his channel, Dr. Green or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, man. And, um, you know, and I'm trying and I'm trying better myself to do this. So this is not just, you know, like I'm on point with what I'm talking about. This is, uh, um, you know, exhortation to brothers and to me as well. All right, because, you know, we can't teach nobody unless we are doing it ourselves. All right. For the uh, for of the most high come of healing and he shall receive honor of the king. The skill of the physician shall lift up his head and in the sight of great men, he shall be in admiration. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth and he that is wise would not abhor them. Was not the water made sweet with wood that the virtue thereof might be known? And he have given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works, which such doth he heal men and taketh away their pains. Uh, of such doth the apothecary make a confection, and of his works there is no end, and from him is peace over all the earth. My son, in thy sickness be not negligent, but pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole. So when brothers do get sick, brothers do get that, uh, you know, like Elder Pastor Hart says, that, that uh, thing in the back of your throat, you know, all the sicknesses start in the back of your throat, uh, start in the back of your throat, hey, uh, uh, make a green smoothie, eat some fruit, drink some water, you know what I'm saying, but mainly try to get them greens up in you, you know. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna skip down, cause I can read this whole chapter. Uh, let's see what I want. I think that's it on here. Yeah, that's it on here. And, um, I got one more because, um, it was one, uh, one verse a brother brought up, which I always, uh, you know, cleaved unto when I first came in because, uh, you know, I, I like to work out. I'm a fairly athletic person. I always have been. So, you know, it's part of my uh, uh, well-being, you know. First Timothy 4. And uh, let me see. What, man. Uh, uh, 4 and 8. Yeah. Uh, for bodily exercise, profit of little. But godliness is profitable to all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. So this uh, physical exercise, uh, physical exercise is under. All right. Uh, the godliness. All right. The promises of the Lord. OK. What we are, what our hope is. OK. E everything is under that. All right. But just for the Lord to say exercise of, um, you know, right here for a bodily exercise, profit of little, that means a lot. All right. Don't get twisted with that word little because of that word little to the Lord could be uh, an abundant thing. OK. You got to understand that the Lord operates outside of uh, the constraints of time, outside of the constraints of physics. The Lord, you know, he, he he's un omnipotent. All right. He's all powerful. OK. All knowing, um, omnipresent, omnipotent. Uh, Omniscient, all knowing, all present, all powerful. OK, so just because, you know, uh, a word is put a certain way really 
doesn't really uh doesn't really mean that you know you have to take it for face value like oh little hey that little is a lot okay but it's just saying as compared to the things that's to come our spiritual bodies all right ruling um you know meeting your house shot and escaping his death it doesn't compare but while we're over here it does you know profit a little bit so Lord willing, that was edifying. I um, want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rehaiah, Double honors to the apostles, the elders, great millstone, and peace, love, salutations, blessings to the Lord's elect. Shalom.